Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm here with my brother, Nux. Hello. And I want to play some Rift of the Necromancer, because the demo came out for it, and that's what we're going to do today. I brought my brother here, because this is a rhythm game, and it's extremely hard for me to talk during a rhythm game, and this one specifically, uh, is very hard to talk through. <laughs> so I have my brother here to remind me to say something, because otherwise it would just be me here in silence for like 10 minutes at a time. But yeah, this is Rift of the Necrodancer, boy. Have you ever played the original Rift of the Necrodancer? Played the Legend of Zelda version. Yeah. Well, this is not. This is like neither one of those. This is basically Guitar Hero. Okay. Uh, so it's five keys. Yes. No. Okay. So I'm gonna start on medium just to show off how it actually is done. These are the three. I, I did. I didn't beat it. Play it on easy. I did play it on medium, and uh, hard is hard. So let me show. Just to show kind of how it goes. So you see the grid here. You can see how I'm holding the controller. So you go like that. So you go left and right, and then middle is probably triangle or up. That's up. Now, you can also set it to be different. And let me see if it can... You can set it to be side, con side control. Yes, and the bottom button is hitting all three buttons at the same time. Would this be easier on keyboard? You'd think so. And uh, when they're blue, there's also times where there'll be enemies where you'll have to hit twice. It's very similar to like Crypt of the Necro Dancer, where there was enemies where you had to hit them twice to the rhythm of the beat of the song. And that's what I'm doing here, as you can see. And then they also have like, uh, let's see. oh shit, I messed that one up. So the, the toughest thing is trying to get concentration. As you can see there, like I lost concentration for like a second and I forgot that that blue one had to be attacked twice. Yeah, it does seem like Crypt of the Necro Dancer is symbolized mm -hmm. without the, you know, having to maneuver an action game while also keeping in rhythm. Yeah. So these bats you can see here have to be hit twice and they move in the direction that they are facing. Okay. And later on there will be bats that you have to hit three times and they will change direction depending on where they face. And there's one specific bat that will about face when you hit them. So, like, if it was in the middle and then it's a three, it would turn back around, so you'd have to hit the middle again. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Apples. Yeah, that will increase your life. So you only you can only take about ten hits, and then you die if you get hit. Uh, and that's unfortunate because these songs are long. <laughs> so you want to try and not get hit. I'm gonna try using. There you go. There's me using my star power. You have star power too. Yeah. Yep, just like Guitar Hero. If anything, this is like Guitar Hero, but uh, more complicated because of all the enemies that you have to remember. I don't know. Uh, I gotta be honest. Guitar Hero Live was pretty complicated. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll give you that much. Uh, it was not complicated. More, uh... It sucks. <laughs> yeah, fair. So you can see here, hit both of them at the same time. Uh, yeah. This is, thank god, you can, the only reason I'm even decent at this one is because of how much time I spent trying to beat the third level in this game. Which was, which is for the demo by the way. It is not, uh, the, the live game will have more. I think anyway, based off of that. I'm not being like sponsored, I just wanted to play because I thought it was cool. It looks cool. Yeah, uh, I like I like the style of it. It also looks like later on there will be Rhythm Heaven inspired like mini games in it. And since Nintendo is not going to release a new Rhythm Heaven game, someone should. After the last one, I don't blame them. Yeah, it was huge. Win! And I know this because we bought it. We did buy it. So I think that's probably maybe a B. I did mess up like it a little bit. A so Okay. Uh, you're pretty in the middle. Yeah, so that's like a, a simple way of looking at it. This is the more advanced one. And this is the one I was doing non-stop. I don't... Did you want me to try? You can try it after this one. Let me just show off some of the harder things that are in here. So that was like an intermediate, but still technically easy. So those shield guys, you have to hit twice. So there are just ones that they don't tell you that you have to hit twice. No, they tell you. They do? Yeah, I, I, I did the tutorial. Oh, okay. What about the yellow ones? These go back. Oh. Oh shit, I missed that one up. The so these, you can see these, these bats three times. The portals? Yeah, these guys go back here. Okay. Back here, yeah. And uh, 
This seems easy now, but then it gets way harder. So this is for me to try and keep that. Okay, he comes back. These guys are on the beat. Uh... So when they lift their sword, they make a. Ch the best way I can say it is like that. You go, boy. Okay. That's how I. If you play Rhythm Heaven, you know what I'm talking about. It's the, the um, the monkeys. Boy. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Boy. Oh, those are three hits. Skeleton. Yep. Doom, doom, ding, dong, ding, 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 dong, ding. So, this is. Is this like a sequel to Crypt of the Necrodancer? Yeah, it basically. I mean, Cadence of Hyrule is basically a sequel to Crypt of the Necrodancer. But this is a legit one. This is like the same character. I'm not sure what the story is because I never got super into the lore of it. I just really like Crypt of the Necrodancer. Shit. Oh, I almost missed that one. Cheese. Yeah, so the cheese, double hit. You also will lose your combo, I think, if you don't get that cheese. So you have to get the fruit. Yeah. It's not an optional thing. I don't think so. Boy! Oh, damn it, I missed that one. So this is the other tricky one, see? They bounce off enemies, so they go back. Yeah, and this is the, the part where it was like tough, when it was like, the these dudes, because I forgot that they go back. Ah, oh, damn it! Alright. Boy! 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 Yeah, it was me yesterday trying to beat this I played this level so much because it was not it was extremely tough and this is not even the hardest setting of it. This isn't this is normal? Shit. See look I also keep getting confused between these and the the black ones. This is intermediate. Damn it. Yeah I messed that one up. Oh no! It's off. You're losing it. I am 100 percent losing it. But I am at least close to the- Aw, oh, damn it! Yeah, the black ones always screw me up between that one and the, uh... Um, the golden ones. At least got- Yeah, like, once it gets to that, I'm like... I'm, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Careful. You did it in time. Yeah, but all yesterday I was getting to like around this level and then just completely failing. I think that's probably yeah, that makes that's a B. Yeah, just barely a B. Again. Hmm. Okay. All right. So you want to try it out? You can. I need to get my headset. You do need to get your headset. You probably also need to be sitting here. No. I'll make do. No, I think you need to sit here because. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because it doesn't reach all the way over there. <laughs> Actually, I can make it reach over there. I can just move it. I was going to say, I can bring up my longer controller. You can. Xbox over the PlayStation. It's true, you can go either one of them. So you don't have to move. Here it is. Let me put this away up here. Uh, pretty long. <laughs> you're right, this is 100% long. Considering where your laptop is, this is hilariously long. Well, it works with the, the pocket analogs uh, thing. So. Oh yes, it does. I can play I from my bed. You have a light. I do. All right, there we go, son. Can you move it up and down? No. All right, let me pause real quick. All right, we're back. Uh, you can try one. Oh, wait, let me on, click back and yep, there ten. we go. You can try one. This one is the. If you want to take the the lessons, you can. They have the basic tutorial, the intermediate tutorial. Uh, we haven't done this one yet, which is the automatic Gucci one. Okay. I think it's this one, right? Yes, it is this one. All right. Three, two, one, go. On. Okay, you hold on for the dragon guy. Okay. Wait for it to come up. Uh, it 
It's not, uh... It's cal we need to calibrate it then. Press start. Go to... Yeah, this is very delayed. <laughs> yeah, press start. Yeah, I forgot you have to do the calibration. Setting. Okay. You can press A. Uh... Okay, press B. Calibration. Calibration task, maybe? Three, two, one, go! Okay, when it gets here... Now, up, down. Okay, so it has to be right when they get there. Yep. Yeah, it would help if you actually knew the specific is this of it. Yeah, I didn't know when I was supposed to hit. Yeah, then when the, they were on it or when they were coming. Yeah, when they're basically gonna be coming onto it. Soon to blue early on the beat. Okay, I don't need. I, I don't you need think you got it now though? I think I understand a bit okay. now. Go. Yeah, so these are hold until the end. Go. It's gonna take me a while to get used to it. Yeah, but you can also put it down to easy. That's all right. I had to beat these all on the other because this is also on medium currently. There go. Down is all three. There you go. Yeah, I would probably try putting it down to easy for the time being, just to make it easier to. Just to make it easier? Yeah, just because it... it, it I feel it, like it, this would be easier on keyboard, I'm not gonna lie. I think it would probably... I mean, Crypt of the Necrodancer was pretty good on... on keyboard. Yeah, see that? Do, do, do. Alright. Alright, they'll be going at you slightly faster when they're on fire. Okay. Ah, I tricked you. It's coming for you. Right bumper is the, the star power. Okay. This one's three. Okay, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Also, a big fan of these little slime guys. The flying guys? I'm a slime guys. <laughs> I like their look. They remind me of the like baby oogie boogies. Okay, I see what you're talking about. Yeah. Also, that dragon is in pure pain from the rocking. Hey, they look very goofy, but. They look funny enough. Yeah. It does look like, uh, like uh, Oogie Boogie. Yeah. This is down. There we go. Wow. Yeah, obviously on medium, that's where a lot more of them come in here. But it's a lot, a lot more manageable when it's on <laughs> easy. That's fair. Damn, damn. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, when they go they go to the other end. That was also one of the lessons you learned before this. Ding, ding, ding. Now we're talking. Ding, down, ding, ding. Interesting. Yeah, three, one. Slap the bat, eat some apples. I don't remember seeing any of these characters in the Necrodancer, though. Some of these characters are in there, uh, but they're like um, unlockable characters, I think. Oh. That would make sense. Yeah. The one character I haven't seen from Crypt of the Necrodancer that I want to see is the shopkeeper. You can hear him in the first song, but he's not uh, visible. the end of the song it is the end of the song <laughs> but the end of the song pop off 
that's when you finally use it. I don't know, sometimes I just forget it's there. No, it's very easy for me to forget it when I'm actually just trying to like learn how to do the song. Awesome. Nice. How to do the song. So, hey, yeah, I could try a medium one, I guess. Any more tracks? <laughs> There's only three right now, they're gonna obviously, when the game actually legitimately launches, there'll be more, but for now, this is what we got. Do I do Trial by Fire? I know. You can try this one, yeah. I think this one should be... Tough? E enough? It, it should be tough, but you should get it. Just remember that these guys are two. Doop doop. That's why I was like, it's. Uh, I know because we usually play rhythm games on medium, but it's trying to learn them. For this one specifically, it's tough when there's this many enemies just on screen. <laughs> yeah. And all of them are like different, like, uh, proprieties to them where you have to learn them on the fly. It is a little tough. Yeah. But when you're actually getting it going, I like the sound it makes. It feels good. Oh! Yeah. Got it. See, you see what I'm saying here? There we go. I... as well. Cheese will help you. I lost health on the cheese. <laughs> no, it's okay. You just lost your combo meter. You didn't oh. lose the health. You only take health. You only take damage when you actually get hit by the enemy. Oh. But if you press the button out of tune, it means that you lose your combo. on these skeletons. Yeah, so that, this is the part where I kept failing at, and... At the end? Yeah, right at the end, so... Yeah, yeah, see. I can see it's tough. Yeah. Let me, let me, we'll put it off now that you've seen some of the tougher ones. I had to keep redoing it, because I would always die at that exact point. Oh. And just, like, have to keep finding a new one. So let me wind it with another failure in my end, because I will try and do... A hard? hard? Yes, for Disco Disaster. I have still not been able to make it farther than halfway in for this one, I think. Oh, I left my coffee over there. I know, unfortunate. But don't worry, it's almost over. There's no way I'm gonna survive this. Okay. See, I fucked up the combo. My my fingers are like getting the best of me. Maybe you can do this on Hitbox. Maybe that'd be easier. Actually, actually, I'm no joke. Kind of thinking of playing this on Hitbox. Damn it! This looks like you can do it on hitbox. Yeah, this is the part where- Ah, oh, fuck me! Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm already- li I lost the rhythm. You're already overwhelmed. Yeah. I can get it. Make it. And you can see, some of these skeletons are also moving slightly off beat. Yeah. Not like this. It's a, it's a slower song, that's why. That too. 
But yeah, that's that, that's uh, the demo for for this game. I can't wait for more of it to come out. Um, it looks really cool. There's gonna be mini games similar to what it looked like Rhythm Heaven. Uh huh. Uh. And it looks like mods and custom music, and that could potentially be cool. Custom mod charts, yeah. Yeah, that could be uh, silly. That's could... how you keep a game going. You allow them to uh, put in their own music. Exactly, and it could be fun that way. Yeah, yeah. You try to make it not too hard. Some games do it too hard. I know yeah. this. I play a lot of rhythm games. <laughs> you do play a lot of them. But yeah, now that you mentioned it, I do kind of want to set up the the box and see if it works the same way. It would be hilarious if you just heard me in the middle of the night going... <laughs> <laughs> it'd be funny it's like uh, i'll just check in one day and that's what you're doing it'd be uh, pretty great but that's in the rift on the necro dancer i'll probably make another video when it actually comes out for legitimately uh because i do love me a rhythm game but that's it for this video thank you very much for watching thank you boy for joining me got a little silent when i got to play but it's fine yeah you can see what i was talking about right <laughs> like you just kind of go Dun, 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 and you get lost in the, the rhythm of it. Well, I was waiting for you to say something, but you weren't saying anything. <laughs> I, I because I was also getting lost in the song. I was like, all right, he's going to go dick, 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 dick. <laughs> but anyway, that's the end, everyone. Thank you very much. See you guys next time. Peace out, and say goodbye, boy. Goodbye.